for this project, we're, we're studying the, the flight capabilities of the Microraptor. Um, it's, it's a small animal that, that was discovered 15 years ago in, in the northeast of China. Um, and it's supposed to be one of the, the first ones to, to have ever flown. Um, so understanding how, how it flew is really important to know how flight began um, 150 million years ago. So the paleontology question we're looking at here is how the possible reconstructions of this particular animal, right Microraptor, could have flown. And this model gives you some idea of the options. You have a lot of, you can have rotation at the hip and then bending at the knee and also at the ankle and also rotation in this direction. And there are limits on those amounts of movement, but they're, they're quite wide, the limits. So what we're looking at is within the range of movement that we think is possible, how the aerodynamic performance varied. Well, we're using the wind tunnel to actually measure the flying performance of the animal. It allows us to measure the lift, the amount of force it could produce vertically to keep it in the air, the drag, the resistance to motion, and those two together give us an idea of the speed the animal could fly at. And it also enables us to look at the stability, the flight stability, as to whether you know, when it leapt out of the tree it was able to, to maintain a steady path or not. And the wind tunnel can tell us all those things. And what's unusual about this model is we've actually included feathers in the wings. Normally people uh, model things without the feathers, but we've tried here to include, include the feathers because they bend with the wind. So we've got a combination of effects going on there. It's quite a unique project for, for the Faculty of Engineering in, in the Environment. Um, because I've had the opportunity to, to study with aerodynamicists from, from my faculty and, and combined this work with the, the work of paleontologists from, from a completely different subject. Um, and I guess that's, that's one part that I really appreciated, it's, it's to be able to meet people from a different background, talk about different things than, than my usual engineering. Mm -hmm.